Hey guys, Coop here. Let's make a bracelet. Now this is a pretty cool bracelet. I've had quite a few people asking me to do the tutorial on this bracelet. It's not my design. It's from a uh, very talented paracordist on Facebook named Terry Grossman. He does an absolute excellent job creating new designs. He does some of the most uh, creative and complicated knots I've seen. And when it all breaks down, a lot of them are very simple to, to make. Just takes a little time. But this is one of his uh, knots that I've had a lot of requests for. So I figured I'd go ahead and, you know, while it's raining outside, sit down and make a video for you guys. Now in Terry's tutorial, he uses just two colors. I went ahead and decided to use three colors just to kind of show you guys a little bit easier way to make it. You know. The, the three different colors breaks everything up where you don't get confused as bad. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll have the link for Terry's Facebook page down below. Uh, you guys go over and check him out. Tell him Coop sent you. Uh, like I said, this is a wonderful knot. I made this in nine, nine, nine and an eighth inches long. Fits my wrist really well. And uh, I used five feet of cord. For each color and that's uh, 10 feet of black and five feet of red five feet of green anyway guys the links for his stuff will be down below now at the end of the video you will notice me using paracord fids you do not you need paracord fids <clears throat> when you get down to the end of the bracelet it's gonna be a little bit tight in there so a pair of hemostats or a pair of needle node pliers or a pair of fids and if you have fids I used four since I'm working with four cords if you need fids board paracord I'll have the link for the fids down below as well anyway guys I hope you enjoy let's get started with this guy okay guys let's get started now to start off I've got my red and my black and my green and my black spliced down here on the ends as you can see I come through the bottom buckle with a cow's hex lart's head whatever you want to call it keeping my red on the outside my green on the outside the two blacks go through the middle I bring it snap it back down on the bottom of my jig I come up the jig go through the top out the back side now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a regular cinch knot on two sides I'm going to take the black, I'm going to go through the middle, out the other side, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the green and the black and I'm going to pull them tight and I'm going to hold them with my fingers. And I'm going to take this black and cinch it down as tight as I can. Should look just like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take the black, come through the middle, go through the hole, just like that. Then I'm going to take the red and the black on the other side. I'm going to pull it down tight from behind and pinch it with my fingers. Then I'm going to cinch this black down. That's going to lock our core and everything in real nice for us, nice and tight and we'll be able to start our knot now this knot is fairly simple it's not much to it uh, so let's get started now that we've got everything locked down what we're going to start with now is we're going to take the black we're going to come through the middle now we're going to take the black on the right side we're going to come through the middle should look just like that right there now we're going to take the green we're going to come up through the middle and then we're going to go through this hole over here so it look, should look just like that now we're going to take the red same thing we're going to come up through the middle we're going to go through the hole on the other side should look just like that guys 
Now to tighten this down, it's fairly simple. You just grab a hold of all four cords and slowly work it up, pulling at the same time. And once you get all the way up to the top, then you can start tightening it down really tight by pulling each strand. And there's the first knot. Now we're going to repeat the process. Black up through the middle. Black up through the middle. Should look just like that. Now we're going to take the green. Going to bring it up through the middle. Going to go through the hole on the other side. Now we're going to take the red. Same thing. Up through the middle out the hole on the other side should look just like that guys once again we're going to take both of these we're going to pull them slowly push everything up tighten everything down That's the first two knots, guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more, and then we'll stop here and pick up at the end. All right, guys, I think you got the hang of it. Now uh, we'll pause you here and we'll pick back up and we're done. Okay, guys, now that we're down here to the end, if you uh, have some FIDs, now would be a good time to use them. You don't have to have FIDs. You can use a pair of needle nose pliers or you can even use a pair of hemostats. Just anything to get your cord through the middle of here will work just fine uh, you got very little real estate when you get down on this end so you know these needles really come in handy if you guys are in need of paracord needles you can pick them up from board paracord mr. Sean Matthews carries them they're perfect size you can uh, use them to weave with and they're the excellent size for the Manny method of joining your cord and as you guys can see, we took the black up through the middle on each side. Now we're coming up with the red. Here's our loop. Take our red through that. Take our green. We're going to go up through the back side. This is where the fids come in handy, guys. Now, like I said, if you don't have fids, that's all right. You can use hemostats or needle nose pliers or whatever you need to use to get them up through there. And then we just take it through the loop, pull everything down. Now we pull our blacks, pull our black, pull our green tight, our red tight, our black tight. And see how those hit those needle are those uh, fids work so easy to get up in there. Now, we're going to go ahead and take the fids off. And we are just going to 
cut and singe like we do most all of our other bracelets. The only twist is be careful. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with the torch lighter, I suggest you just stick with a regular Bic lighter or Zippo lighter. You, the torch lighters are good, but the drawback to them is they burn so quickly that if you're not careful, you'll burn your cord. So now that we have our bracelet done, the back of it looks almost as cool as the front of it, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we just take, cut our cord as close as we can. And we go ahead and we singe it. And I'll take my lighter mash it really nice get her down in there now we'll do the black mash her down in there really nice now we do the red him down in there really nice and we do the black now guys you come up with another way to finish this off that's the good thing about paracord learning new things you never have to do things the same way as everybody else you can learn new techniques if you learn a different way of ending it that's better so be it but there you go guys one sanctified bracelet it's a fairly thick bracelet I did this one in nine inches let's see if it fits old Coop's wrist yep fix like a charm so I would say if you've got an eight eight and a quarter inch wrist you make this thing nine and one eighth inch long it's gonna fit your wrist just perfect all right guys I appreciate your support appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos it means a lot to me you guys all know we've got the uh, Facebook page up and going along with Google Plus Pinterest Instagram Twitter and Swampville craftables anything that you craft with your two hands you're more than welcome to come over join the group on Facebook and post. The only thing we ask is no selling and be nice to your neighbors. Anyway, guys, with all that being said, old Coop's pretty much going to say, Coop out.